this year for 2021-2022, my top five student welding projects uh, would be our dedication to those impacted by residential school systems, um, our pneumatic motorcycle lift stand, our custom Vermeer wood chipper barbecue, our uh, brick coated pizza oven, and our custom built uh, ribs, chicken and roast uh, wood smoker. So this project here um, kind of really got inspired uh, me to come up with something and to help the kids was uh, after the summer and the 215 uh, in BC um, and I kind of sat on that in the back of my mind and um, about six or eight weeks ago I was contacted by school in the Winnipeg School Division who was dedicating a park um, to all those impacted by residential schools and asked if we could make a sign um, so I had some discussions with some students and I had a lead student on it and uh, she kind of decided that uh, it should represent a residential school and kind of represent a little bit of a prison. Um, so she sketched out a drawing and we kind of took it from there and uh, this is where we're at. We're not quite finished yet, uh, but so far it's coming together quite well. There's been about six or seven students involved on it. Some building bricks, um, some building the bars, some building the foundation. So I'm trying to incorporate as many kids into this project uh, as I can and I can tell you we've had some deep meaningful conversations around residential schools and the effects it's had over 150 years. This project kind of got started. I had a grade 11 student starting a metal design course which he needed a credit in. Um, and he was kind of trying to think of a project, think of a project and he didn't know what to build. And, because uh, he's in grade 11, I said, well, you're not gonna get away with a fire pit, we gotta design something. Um, and I had this old bumper jack from the 70s that I believe came out of the old power mechanic shop sitting in the corner. Um, so I said to him, well, let's make a motorcycle lift. Uh, over the years, we've taken some, uh, some bikes and snowmobiles and ATVs and done welding repairs on frames and racks and made plows for them. Um, so we do see a lot of bikes in here and I wanted to have a proper table that was safe to work on. Um, so that's really how it, uh, how it got inspired. So th this project was built uh, obviously for Vermeer Canada. Um, they've been asking me for the last couple of years if I'd be willing to build them a custom barbecue um, that uh, resembles um, their wood chipper product. And with COVID, uh, it was kind of put on hold. And then it was actually a grade 12 student by the name of Tyler who uh, built the entire thing by himself. Um, so we strictly just used pictures off the internet that we found and we took a couple drives over to Vermeer Canada and just took a look at the machinery and took some pictures and then uh, sat down and did a few hand sketches and just started creating. Um, basically built the trailer frame and axle and then just started building from there. And then on the back, we had mounted a 36 inch Blackstone uh, barbecue foot. Over the years, uh, we have designed and built a few pizza ovens. Uh, Ace Burby bought one off us a few years ago. But with the price of steel this year um, drastically going up, it just became unfeasible uh, to build them the way we used to. So um, I kind of came up with an idea how we could use less metal and still hold the heat. Um, so what we did on this one is uh, we insulated it with bricks. Um, so what you have inside is your pizza stone and you fire up your oven and then the slide opens up to control your heat. So you'd want to cook this pizza around 450, 500 degree. So over the last couple of years, uh, Chef Mike in the kitchen um, has been watching YouTube videos and wanting to get into smoking meats. Um, and we've built a few smokers in the past for other customers. Um, so this was the year in September, he said to me, okay, I've convinced my wife to let me spend some money. Um, so we came up with a design for him and then um, built him a custom uh, smoker. So he was able to take it home in November and uh, I, w I drove past his house on Grey Cup Sunday and he was smoking ribs and chicken wings in the middle of his driveway. So I stopped in and might add a sample or two. So. <laughs>